This is a short recording to demonstrate the action of the screw. It uh, reduces the distance between these two points. You should be able to see slight movement as I'm screwing in the right hand direction to bring the arms closer together and then in the opposite direction I'll measure those first they are approximately well, about 24 millimeters diameter centers so we'll operate in the left hand mode to open them out that is just about the full extent we measure the centers now and that's, that's about 50 54 so we've got a range here of 30 millimeters so I'll remove these now and uh, fit the other set in this is the second assembly with the arms closed I'm rotating now to undo them you can see at the end here when that becomes level with this that's the limit of the travel And the centers once again are 54 millimeters so they're the same as the uh, previous we turn it in a right hand direction now and you can see that the arms are closing in so that's giving the adjustment that's necessary to get the width of the of each part of the binocular to suit the person's eyes who are viewing through the lenses. There are the two parts. This uh, is the original that was provided. Use the tool that's been made for to remove the pins. See, it's a three pin spanner to fit into the the light is not particularly good here. That's it, and that's located. We can undo the undo the screw. It's just a five millimeter M five. This just shows the original fitted into the same jig. I can't do any adjustment on it or any, get any movement from it because the the shaft that operates it is bent and it needs replacing at one end which is a job I still have to do. 
But this shows you that you get the correct alignment of the pins and, and it fits snugly down to the bottom of the pins in the same way as it was fitted onto the others.